a new day Pull your bridges up and tie your shoelace Don't worry about them haters, send them bouquets Get that dough in a few ways Pack your tears up inside your suitcase Cause it's a long ass road Sometimes it's overbearing feels What's going on? It's Alvin Brown. All right, welcome to Soulful Saturday. All right, so here's the deal. What we're going to talk about today is a little bit about procrastination. Because I found procrastination, it's a thief, one of the thieves of the soul space. And that's why I put it into Soulful Saturday. Because when you procrastinate, it's either you've built up, uh, you've small chunked a certain task that you have to do. You've made it bigger than it is. You've made them take a little molehill and made a mountain of it. And the longer you delay on do getting a task done, the more it becomes this mountainous monster that just weighs down on your soul, weighs down your mind, it stops you. You move from fight or flight and you move into freeze. You start to freeze. The longer you leave the task, the more frozen you get and it creates anxiety, stress, and tension. So. The book I chose this week that we want to review is called Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. You're going to see a, in the insert, I'll show you a picture of it. I have it on ebook, so I won't be able to show you the book, the actual book. I bought it on an ebook, an audiobook. So um, check out the videos I did this week on Instagram. If you're not following me, check me out. I'll scroll my details underneath so you can check me out. And all week I give it to you in little bits and bites. And then Saturday I roll it out underneath the soul space. All right, so check out the videos and we'll be back. Hey everybody, what's going on? Rest and shine. All right, so September 5th. You got to really dig deep to rise and shine. It's a little darker out here, but we're going to do it anyways. That's how we roll. All right, so I featured a book yesterday, Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. It's about how to limit and cut out procrastination. And as we get started in this last quarter, as we're coming up on the last quarter, we really got to dig deep to really get to our goals for 2017 and make it the best year yet. So with every, with all the chaos starting off school and getting kids back in university, focus, being laser focused is the key. So Eat That Frog is all about this. If you have a lot of tasks to do and, and they're, you're trying to say focus on what's important, here's what they're saying. Take the biggest, ugliest frog and you start to eat that one first because everything else is easier after that. So, Eat That Frog is all about that. Get it in your library, stay focused, stay laser focused, and use your time wisely. Peace. Hey everybody, what's going on? Rise and shine. All right, so let's pretend I'm in the lab right now, and I'm going to give you the antidote to stress. You want to know the antidote to avoiding the anxiety and that tightness in your chest and that, that shallow breathing that you get when you're under a lot of stress and tension, everything seems overwhelming? Well, here it is. Eat That Frog. Eat that nasty, dirty, grimy, slimy frog that's in front of you, the biggest one. And that means taking, attacking the task that you don't want to do. Because here's the thing, when you have that task and it seems overwhelming, that's because you've made a big, giant, massive mountain of a, out of a molehill. You ever see those times when you face a fear and it becomes, you found it wasn't that hard? Well, that's it. That's what eating that frog's about. So this week, here's what I want you to do. Think about all the tasks that you have to do that's getting you overwhelmed and eat the biggest one because that behind that big one, everything else seems easy. Eat the frog. Hey everybody, what's going on? Rise and shine. All right, I'm going to have to pick the energy up here to get you out of bed. Do you see how dark it is now? Anywho, check it out. All right, so we're talking about the book Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. It's all about avoiding procrastination. And it's all about eating the dirtiest, nastiest frog in your pile. And once you eat that one, everything else is easier. But here's the problem. What if you have a whole bunch of frogs that look amazingly juicy at the same time and you don't know which one to eat? This is, can be a problem. Here's the solution to that. And he has it in the book, and I think it's a great solution. Here's the thing. You got to go back to your why. Why are you even doing what you do? What is your main purpose in life for getting up every morning and getting out there and doing your thing? That's a way to zero in on it. Go back to your why. Why are you getting up? What's your passion? What drives you? If you can figure that out and get clear on that, then the frog becomes the biggest, nastiest one becomes illuminated and you'll figure it out, all right? Remember your why, peace. Hey everybody, what's going on? Rise and shine, all right. So we're at the end of the week and we're talking about eat that frog a book about procrastination, it's written by Brian Tracy, check it out. 
All right, so you let me summarize it all about this whole procrastination thing, what my experience and what I read from the book. Two things I want to focus on. One, when we get a task that we have to do, have to, we feel we have to do, what we do is we small chunk. That means we break it up into a million steps. And when it's that big, when it seems that big, we tend to procrastinate and we don't want to do it. As opposed to something that you love, you make it two steps and it's done. Check it out. Think about it. And the next thing we do is fear. Behind getting the thing done is this massive, in front of getting this thing done is this massive fear of what it will cost you or the time it will cost you, the money it will cost you or some other thing we build up. So basically procrastination is in our mind. So you got to control your mind when it comes to this procrastination thing. Remember your why and eat that frog. Peace and love. Alright, so welcome back. When it comes to the soul, there's so many things that enable us to come alive from a soul level. And I know for sure one thing, one thing to free yourself on a soul level is to attack that thing you need to get done. Because a lot of times the thing you need to get done, just beyond it, just beyond the fear that you've created over doing this thing of, of time it's going to cost you, of money it's going to cost you, of commitment it's going to cost you, energy, whatever it is you built up, it's all built up and it's, it's, it's false evidence appearing real fear so once you choose the frog that big nasty ugly frog you eat that frog everything else behind it you'll notice is so much easier and I'll give you an example you ever had the tax time that's the biggest one for me that I've experienced in the past when you're you fail to do those taxes you know you should sit down and do those receipts especially if you own a business but you delay because it's never fun for a lot of people not a lot of people love the accounting piece of it. Even though all you have to do sometimes is hand it over to the accountant, you still procrastinate on it. And guess what? As you get closer, closer to the date, it gets even more of our attention in your stomach, in your heart space. And then once you get beyond the date, then you really mounts up, creates tension in your shoulders. And how does that feel on a soul level? It feels heavy. And it really blocks you from moving towards your personal greatness, which is what this is all about. How do we free ourselves to, to drive hard to where we want to go? So that's it. All right, so eat that frog. Check it out. Brian Tracy, it's a great one to add to your, to add to your library, and that's what we're doing is building our library each week. These are resources we can put in our tool bag on our journey to greatness, as we call it. All right, so check it out. Go to our website, the Center for Healing, pforms.com, journey personal greatness.com. I got one more week. This time, next week, I'll be deep in a seminar with 30 or 40 folks, and we're going to be talking about life plan, developing our life plan, our blueprint. It's going to be a fun session. I've got a lot uh, put together to make this a really epic, epic event. It's the first of many, so watch out for that. Lots of online stuff coming, as I've always promised. It's coming. I'm just doing it right up, making it tight. All right? So until next time, eat that frog, that big, nasty, dirty, Son of a, all right? Eat that one, because that's the one that's going to move you to freedom and free your soul space so you can get on with the good stuff, all right? All right, on to next time. Be relentless about your pursuit for personal greatness. Peace and love. Tie your shoelace. Don't worry about them haters. Send them bouquets. Get that dough in a few ways. Pack your tears up inside your suitcase, because it's a long-ass road. Sometimes it's overbearing. Feels like complaints call go. Having dreams of Java Mercy, a law goes. I love them shits, but I don't wanna 